So we've got some new capillary blood tubes. We're gonna do a quick video on how to use this in the process, um, how to get the blood from the capillary tube to the epoch unit itself and the best way to insert it, okay? So first you'll pull out your capillary tube here. These will be found down in the laboratory. If we run low, you'll get another box from the, the laboratory. So you'll see there's a few parts on here. This plunger is kind of an important part right here. You'll see this. It's almost a preloaded plunger. It's kind of clear, so it's hard to see at this point, but it'll, it'll make more sense as we introduce the blood into the epoch unit here, okay? So when filling, for example, if you're doing a heel stick, so when you poke the heel, hold it by the blue here. You'll see this blue marker here. You're gonna hold it by that, and you're gonna open this up, you'll see the capillary tube comes out there a little bit, okay? And down here, there's another white marker, okay? And that's where the blood is gonna fill to. So as you're filling from the heel after you poke it, and you get the blood to fill, gonna fill to this white marker right there, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and introduce some blood here real quick. So if we're gonna pretend we're getting this from a heel. So we'll fill it. Pretend this is coming from a heel and a heel stick example. So you'll see it's gonna to get to the white marker there and then you'll be full. Okay, so for example, if we were coming off of a heel right there, it would look like that. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this back up. Again, we're not gonna, we're gonna to try to stay away from this plunger here. Okay, we're gonna pull that and then reseat it into that, okay? Then what happens is this tip here replicates the tip of a syringe. So that's what allows us to seat it correctly into the epoch unit, okay? So then when choosing the sample type, at this point, we only have arterial and venous. Okay, so we're gonna choose, according to the lab, they're gonna have a capillary option soon, but at this point, you're just gonna choose venous. Okay, so venous it is. And then we go to our draw site, we would choose heel, okay, left or right. Okay, let's just go right, or excuse me, left. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and introduce the sample. Okay, here's the important thing on how the plunger works. You'll see is we're gonna do it just like we would a regular syringe. We're gonna seat it here in the epoch card, give it a little bit of a turn here to kind of help it seat. And now right here, the plunger is the important piece. You'll see as I start to depress the plunger right here will help advance the blood. And boom, you'll hear it beep and then the blood should be gone there and in the cartridge, okay? Now, if you look at the plunger here, you can see the plunger has now been depressed, so it's now from here at the top, so now you know that you can no longer use this cartridge, or excuse me, epoch uh, capillary tube, okay? And that should be it.